AMH. That can be done any day of the cycle. That's so great because you walk in the fertility clinic, it's day 18, let's get an AMH, let's see where you're at. AMH is a hormone made by the ovary. It's made by what we call the primordial follicle. Those are the little eggs that are not gonna grow this month. They're gonna grow next month or maybe really six months and six years from now. So the more AMH, it tells you you got lots of eggs in that ovary, which is great. Super high AMH levels suggest that AMH itself may affect you and you may not be ovulating. So with women with polycystic ovarian syndrome, sometimes we have really high AMH levels. It's okay, it just tells us we have a lot of years of ovulating to go. Very low AMH levels, that suggests you're running out of eggs. AMH levels do not correlate with pregnancy tests and pregnancy success. What AMH correlates with is a cancellation of a cycle. So if someone has a low AMH, it means there probably are a very few number of eggs in that ovary ready to respond to fertility drugs that month. If I give them fertility drugs, pills or shots, I wanna make extra eggs. If their AMH is below 0.7, I'm gonna be concerned that they're not gonna make at least four follicles. So AMH really helps us diagnose ovarian aging and it helps us prognosticate response to drugs. Again, it is not associated directly with pregnancy rates.